Hello everyone, we've been talking about the two envelope module on the A modular forums and uh, yeah, how to use the end of cycle or the end of envelope trigger output. And one use for that is actually um, just as a trigger delay. And with a trigger delay, you can create a swing. And now a swing is typically uh, a beat or a swinging beat typically has every other hit a little bit delayed. So that would sound uh, like this. Whereas a straight beat would sound like this. And with swing, you know, ta tuck, ta tuck, ta tuck, every second uh, beat is delayed. Now you can patch this easily with a very simple patch uh, using the two envelope module. And um, let's have a look at this. So I've got my LFO as a clock source going into the multimode divider that is set to beat mode, no shift. So the first output that is just the LFO frequency is triggering my envelope. So it's going into my envelope's gate input. Now every other beat, so the second output of the multimode divider, that uh, trigger or gate signal is going into my attenuator and from there it is going into the decay CV input of the two envelope module. I'm not using the CV of the envelope at all, I'm just using the end trigger output then to trigger my uh, drum voice. So every other beat this lights up, sends a gate that I'm attenuating and through this attenuation I can create a variable decay time of this envelope and at the end of the envelope the trigger is being output. So with zero CV here the trigger is just going straight out of um, the envelope without delay and with some CV there will be a delay. So in practice this would then sound like this. No CV. And with CV. So every other beat is now delayed, creating a swing pattern. And depending on how you, you know, set up your initial decay time and uh, your rhythms and also you can probably get really funky when using all the other outputs or the other modes of the multimode divider, you can have a lot of fun with non-straight rhythms and of course the typical swing as we've just heard it is the classic standard use that you would also find in the archive NPCs and other groove boxes. So yeah, I hope this demonstration was useful. Uh, let me know in the comments how you like to patch swing, maybe if there are other methods. I'd love to hear about them. And yeah, let's uh, continue talking in the A-Modular forums and have fun. See you soon.